Okay, so here we have a a reballing station, uh, quite a cheap one. Uh, I never used one of these before, so we'll see how it go. And uh, I've attached it, so it's pretty firmly there, not too tight though. And uh, this tensile is also attached, but. Uh, uh, actually, you can have these loosen up first, so you can position them, and then you can tighten them. I uh, I kind of did it in the put it in the right position already, but we'll see that. Let's let's go to the microscope and have a look. Okay, so now when that's done, we're going to pour these remaining balls, solder balls into the here, for instance. Okay. And then the most most remaining solder balls we save. For the second time I'm gonna do this since I'm gonna probably screw this up now, but we'll see. This is the first time and, and uh, so far it has gone pretty well, so... Well... Okay, so... Unfortunately, there are broken pads there, and, and I don't have really much hope for this switch anymore. But as you see, I have done the reballing, and uh, it's not perfect, but uh, should work. And uh, yeah, well, now we should put some flux there and put some heat on this on this chip, and, and try to. Try to get it to fit. So let's let's do that. I don't know how much I should put, but I think I'm gonna go with something like 350 or maybe even 400. All right, so the idea is to get this to to go on here straight, and we have just one chance, or then it's reballing it again. Okay. I think that that's about it. It may be a little bit here. Uh, 
I think I'm gonna go with that. Let's see what happens. Let's hit the board from a distance and... I'm actually not very nervous now because, uh, <laughs> as I said, I don't have a very good feeling about this anymore because of those pads. But... I have 380 degrees now. Yeah, well, I don't know. Maybe it's good. But it looks to be on really straight. Well, let's, uh, let's let it cool and see. It's, at least it's the right way, so. about those caps uh, let's let it cool and I put it into the put it into the shell and then then we test it and see the blue screen okay so I hooked up the display the power button back light now goes the power here goes nothing Okay. Oh, I forgot one thing. Forgot this. Can't boot without this. We need this to get the blue screen. Uh oh. Looks okay. Strange sound. Yeah. All right. Well, here goes. Hey. There is no blue screen. There is no blue screen now. What? Is it hot? It's not warm. I think I put it, I put it, uh, it's in the right position, it's not hot. The RAM, the, the, the RAM, if, if you put it wrong and, and it shortens it, it's, uh, it gets really hot. But, but, wow, now, now we have hope. Uh, 
let's let's pop this out, clean it, and uh, oh, I'm excited now. Let's put a screw there too. Where are my screws? It's have been so. I need to search for stuff. Hold on. Okay, let's put the, the screw there just to get it down a little bit. Also, let's take let's take the right screwdriver too. Maybe this one. Okay, now let's let's pop this out. And uh, let's clean it. Also I want to check this this cable to the to the display. Good. And uh, okay, okay. Uh, let's let it dry a little bit and uh, I mean. Uh, that was cool that it was no blue screen, but uh, I still don't have hope. I mean, it should have booted fine, unless uh, I feel like there is a problem with the, with the, still with the RAM chip. But it it looks to be on straight and. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's pop this on again. Okay. So Yes! <laughs> It was the blue screen. It was the DRAM chip. This is this is this is amazing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool down, cool down. Oh wow. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay, no touch screen, but I, it's not connected. Let's let's turn it off. Oh yeah, I can't do that. <sighs> okay, so so now um, I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna clean it. Uh, put new thermal paste on. Uh, I was not expecting this. Okay, I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna put new thermal paste here and and uh, put it together, and then we test it together. One more time. Okay. 